Oh God, help me. I cannot believe I'm about to try this, but since nobody else has ever seemed to try it, be the first to do it. All right, folks, you see the thumbnail title. We are going to see just how many levels can actually be beaten as Mach Speed Sonic doing his campaign. Surprisingly, more levels than not are actually beatable, and then the ones you think were beatable cannot be beaten. But here we are, we're gonna go through this. The only rule that I'm imposing on myself is I have to beat each level as Mach Speed Sonic. Well, the ones I can beat as Mach Speed Sonic. I I am allowed to use amigo characters when time calls for the automatic switch you know you go through the level and hey tails is here to help you or knuckles or so forth other than that i have to use mock speed sonic nothing more that said here we go welcome to hell as soon as Mach Speed Sonic loads into Wave Ocean, we immediately go for a jump. Mach Speed Sonic cannot slide on water, so we have to make this jump. We're gonna hit the first checkpoint, and we're immediately gonna jump for the next part of Shadow Loop, because once again, we cannot slide on water. Unfortunately, I can't jump out of that animation. I tried this for like an hour. I just couldn't get it done. So, we're just gonna skip past that part, because right off rip, Wave Ocean cannot be completed as Mach Speed Sonic. Also, Mach Speed Sonic cannot grind. He'll go into a hard lock animation. Just a little bit of maneuvering and trickery. We can get Mach Speed Sonic to turn and run the way we need him to run. Eventually, through a little bit of trickery, I'm able to make my way to the lighthouse. Can do the wall jump, but like I mentioned earlier, Mach Speed Sonic cannot grind. He'll just be locked in this animation, and that's essentially a soft lock. And even if we could somehow get past all of that and make it to the whale chase, Mach Speed Sonic can't even run on the boards. They just instantly break. Let's keep hope alive, though, because even though we can't get through Sonic's Wave Ocean, there is Tails Wave. Ocean, but we'll come back to that later in the video. So let's move on to Dusty Desert. Mach Speed Sonic can actually run across the sands. You'll spend a lot of time jumping, but it's as simple as going from point A to point B. The only real hard part of Dusty Desert was the climbing section near the end of the stage where you gotta jump up the three platforms, do a little trickery. Sonic doesn't actually have to jump on the platform, he can jump on a ledge above the platforms to go in and out. Once you get to the end, you just simply use the walls to break Sonic, do a simple jump across the two gaps and Dusty Desert is Mach Speed Sonic. White Acropolis was another interesting level as Mach Speed Sonic. I honestly thought I would have had an easy time going down the hill, but actually I spent a lot of time overshooting the slopes and I spent a lot of time dying, as you can see my life counter dropping. Simple, as long as you use the walls to break Sonic. That is the key to maneuvering Mach Speed Sonic, the walls. Also using the bounce attack. I actually got pretty lucky here bonking off this wall. I was able to make an immediate right turn, and after that, I was able to get down a hill pretty damn easy. I was able to outrun a snowball by a large margin. <laughs> it didn't even give me a problem. And of course, we were able to clear this jump. Moving on into part two of White Acropolis. There's really not much more complications here neither the only real problem was hitting the switch to get past this laser fence but again using the walls we can fall in hit the switch and move on to the part where we take control of tails after clearing that area with tails we move on into the next area where at first i thought i was gonna be stuck because i couldn't get over the laser fences i tried hitting the spring i tried a bounce attack but unfortunately i couldn't get over the laser grid but then i remember i can just bounce off an enemy do a bad nick jump and make my way into the next part of the level and after that just make our way over to the goal again use the walls to slow sonic down break bonk whatever's necessary that needs to be done make that tight turn and hit the goal ring and we're done crisis city almost broke me so much jank happen here we can't grind because we'll soft lock if we use the bounce attack while going down the ramp we'll soft lock oh man and that's just the first part of this level we can't even get into the second part of the level because as soon as we hit the ramp we're thrown into a grinding situation and once again if you haven't realized by now mock speed sonic cannot grind and even if i could reach the grind rail for some reason i don't get enough height to even come close to hitting the rail but for the sake of the video to give you some more content we're gonna skip past that part and just get right into the city i was surprised i was able to get around the tower thanks to light dashing but as soon as we're thrown into a grinding situation we're just gonna what goes up must come down yeah my feet don't touch the ground see the world spinning upside down now this area actually surprised me. I thought this was completely hopeless because we couldn't use light posts, but with a few well-placed bounce attacks and jumps, we are able to clear this area. Crisis City cannot be completed as Mach Speed Sonic, but it is interesting what he can get away with here and what he cannot get away with here.
Flame Core is another interesting level for Mach Speed Sonic. Opening up the level is an automatic script sequence where you run around, but it ends. You will be launched immediately off the level. You have to be prepared to take control of Sonic once it ends and get him back on the track. Sonic doesn't take damage when he's in the lava, but he does lose rings for every second he's in the lava, so you have to be quick to get out. The first obstacle is when you get to the cage spring, and you have to eliminate all the enemies to get the spring to open up. It's possible, but you have to do a little bit of maneuvering just to go back and forth to kill the enemies. You'll be running in and out of lava when you do so. But that's not even the crazy part of this level. Right, I'm gonna tell you right now, Mach Speed Sonic cannot complete this level because he has a hard time. There's parts of the level where you have to clear all the enemies to get the door to open. That's very hard. I spent like two, three hours trying to get it done, but I gotta be real with myself. I, I just didn't want to keep going with that. But you're welcome to try. As of now, I don't think it's possible. I'm sure it's possible. It's just... Ugh. Anyway, I get my first game over. Sonic is able to get his way around here, but unfortunately he cannot grind. Skipping past that part, once we get to the part where it's time to meet up with Knuckles, we can clear the enemies as planned. But when we switch control back to Sonic, we have to navigate our way back up there once more. Pretty simple, just a couple of wall bounces, a couple of bad nick bounces. It can be done. Radical Train is another level that was kind of obvious we won't be completing. The goal of this level is to outrace the train, get to the switches, the sturdy switches, and keep on moving along the level. Problems arise with loops. Loops is one of the other things that kills this challenge. They're all scripted. Anytime I hit a loop, I cannot act out of it, and that usually gets me killed. I've tried for the past hour to try to find ways around this loop, do certain types of jumps, get my way over, but unfortunately, I can't do it. The other problem that comes with this level is the conveyor belts i can't get across them in a timely manner as some of them speed me up slow me down with all the twists and turns and jumps i can't even get to the second part of this level so radical train is another level mock speed sonic cannot handle going into tropical jungle i already knew that i couldn't do this level as well because again Sonic cannot grind and also there's these type of vines in the level that only Sonic and Elise can activate. Mach Speed Sonic will just go right through them. Those two things alone makes this level completely unbeatable as Mach Speed Sonic. Mach Speed Sonic can however run across the water but that really doesn't help us in the long run. So with that said we cannot defeat Tropical Jungle. Act 1. Act 2 however yeah we can easily clear that out. We can get through that no problem. Going into Kingdom Valley you know the whole theme of the valley is riding on the wind but Say it with me, folks. Mach Speed Sonic cannot grind, and that includes the wind grinding. It's a form of grinding also. So that alone, obviously that's nothing but silver, so that's that in its own way. Beatable, I guess. But Acts 1 and 3, we are not completing. There's just so much stuff that's just Roblox. Mach Speed Sonic. Aquatic base. Mach Speed Sonic can actually get through a couple of rooms in this level, but he hits a hard roadblock. I also found out something else Mach Speed Sonic cannot use on top of not being able to grind. Mach Speed Sonic can also not use pulleys. That's right. I was blown away by that, but honestly, he don't use them. So I guess it was never coded into the game for it to work for him. That alone just kills the whole run for aquatic base. Alright, remember I said that we couldn't do Wave Ocean for Sonic's level? Well, you also go back through Wave Ocean in Sonic's campaign as Tails. Tails has ramps to just bypass all the water segments, so we don't have to worry about running across the water. But even so, the level is tailored for Tails, so there's certain dang areas where we can't get across because he has to fly. With a well-placed badnik bounce, we are able to take this route to get over to where we're supposed to get to the lighthouse. There's a spring that actually launches Sonic High up in the air so i'm able to do some jumping shenanigans to get onto little platforms across the beach but we still hit a roadblock over here because once we get to this area i'm not saying it can't be done but i couldn't jump through these gates to give myself enough momentum to clear the ocean maybe even if you can get past that point once you get to the part where the whale chases you sonic cannot clear the jumps they're just too far for him to get across wave ocean is still unbeatable as box speed sonic
I had a lot of fun doing this video. This was actually the first time I ever even did a video like this, and I'm looking forward to making more like this if the demand is high. It was a lot of frustration doing this, like, but normally when I play Project 06, I'm playing just for the fun of it, you know? Like, I'm going through the level in a normal way, but to change the gameplay schematics and put myself under a challenge such as this, truly, truly intense. And would I do it again? Probably not, but that's up to you, the viewer. Again, if y'all enjoyed it, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and who knows, maybe I'll come back around to Project 06 and try something else that we probably didn't even think it was possible to we'll see how far we can get. Or maybe I'll try other games, who knows. But the future is bright, and as always, thanks for your support. See ya.